Constructivism is a theory of knowledge. What is the history of constructivism? Where did it come from? Who were the early thinkers responsible for this? The educational philosophy of constructivism has roots in the Socratic dialogues. One of Socrates' students, Plato, who lived from 427 to 347 BC, came up with the concept of rationalism, um, which means knowledge is derived from reason without any aid um, from the senses. Another great ancient Greek philosopher, Aristotle, who actually was a student of Plato, um, shortly after Plato's death, Aristotle came up with a new idea called empiricism, um, which essentially means that experience is the basis or the primary um, source for all of human knowledge. Back to Plato again, Plato's ideas of rationalism um, included the concept that humans learn by recalling or discovering information or things that already exist in the human mind, which is an interesting idea. Another way of looking at Plato's thoughts on rationalism are that rationalism is an internal function of the mind. Um, what happens is inside the brain. Rationalism in the 1950s then moves and morphs into the more modern philosophy of cognitivism, um, more or less, as an offspring. Getting back to Aristotle and his theory or ideas of empiricism, those ideas more or less became the more modern behaviorism. Um, Plato's thoughts and philosophy of rationalism more or less again became cognitivism. Those two theories or philosophies of education or learning more or less equal or are both parts of the modern constructivism. So that is a high-speed version of how constructivism came to be, with some help from the people to be mentioned next, that is.